All right, Band Rocks 2010. I'm um, going to just kind of show you a couple of my uh, points that I've found. Um, I'm going to use this macro thing that I've kind of um, made. So maybe we'll get a better picture on some of these. So first point, a little uh, dart point here. I don't know, some people I think have called them rat tails, but pretty cool. It's the core of the rock, the outside of it, brought down into the nice little, got some pretty good flaking on it. This one's got really, really good flaking. You guys can actually see this. It's been hit with a plow, but the flaking on it's just crazy good. Got a big like hairline crack to it. You can see all the little deposits and things in it too. Got an awesome tip on it. This point's really, really rough around the edges. Got a really nice tip. And you can see how it's just been battered. It just looks awful. But I mean, it's it's all there in the same field. Found this one. Again, really nice tip. Some cool flaking. Nothing real spectacular there for the base. Kind of a crude point. Look at the serrations on that. Like how it's blue and white. A victim of a plow. It's got a nice base on it. Got a little rust marks on it. This next point my wife actually found. This is the biggest point that I own. Kind of got brown and different colors in it. Been broke right there. But it was a big point. She screamed, oh my gosh, I think I found one. Like, yes you did, honey. This next piece, this piece is kind of crazy. I don't know exactly what it is. Like you guys can see how it's been notched right there, um, and it is kind of round. It almost kind of looks like a side tang, but it's not fully. I don't know what it is. Got some fairly good flaking, but if anybody has any suggestions on what that is. Please let me know. Nice little point. Next one's my probably the best drill that I've got I've ever found. Maybe a little bit of damage right there. But it's not real bad. This next point my dad found, I didn't find this one. Pretty sweet. As you can see, it's fluted. 
right there. Crazy good colors. Missing just a little bit of the tip. Nice piece though. Next is like a little Cobb's point. I just want to show this because it's got awesome flaking like all the way around it. Almost like a preform type thing. Out on the back. Crazy cool. Who knows what this point is? I'd like to know. I've heard maybe a motley, but maybe not. It's definitely different than anything else that I've got. An older piece. My dogs are going crazy. Amos, be quiet. This next point, this is my pride and joy that I've got here. This is probably the best piece that I actually own. I've shown you guys this one before, but you can see that it's just completely see-through. All the way through it. A little bit of a flute there. Both ears are intact. Tip. Just needle tip. Some crazy cool flaking. This next piece, Richard and some of those guys out in Missouri say it's a Cash River. So it's a very old piece. I'll let you guys look at it, see what you think. It has some damage right there. But when I found this piece, I didn't know what it was. Super thin, as you guys can see. Really, really old. So, got a little notch taken out of it right there. You can see that was made on purpose. Next one's a little dart point. Nice little piece. I think this is a part of a Jack's Reef, maybe. I don't know. I don't know my points all that well. I like to collect them. I don't know that much about them. You learn as you go, I guess. It's like anything else. But, got a little bit of damage right there. Not too bad. This piece is pretty wild. Got that tip on there just as tight as it can possibly be. I have okay, now, the next couple points that I found, these are coming from an older site. What is this, guys? I don't know what this is. It's been beat all to you know what, but... I don't know. Kind of looks, kind of looks paleo, maybe. I don't know. Just have to see. See what you guys think of it. Right there. Same thing. Same sight. Right there. It's blunted. It has been worked. I don't know. See what you think. I'll get back to you later. Continuing on, it's a little bitty perforator. Got a couple of these actually. Kind of a cool little thing. Really thin. This piece is really cool too. The colors of how it's been, I'm assuming, with the fire and things. Really cool. 
And then some of my better, like little Madison points, or whatever they're called. This one actually has a flute in it. Um, it's hard to see, but it's there. If I flip it this way, you'll see it. So I've got a flute right there. Another one. A little bitty. Check out those little serrations on that thing. I don't know if you can see it or not. Really, really cool. And then I got to show my big blade that I found. I got this on video. I keep looking for some more out of the same spot, but I haven't found anything yet. Kind of a cool piece. Right there is where the plow hit it. Pulled it up. Just a really neat piece. Well, tomorrow I'm going to be hunting the rocks pretty much all day. And hopefully I'll have a good luck. Good luck to everybody out there. Have a good one. Later. I do want to show you my pendant that I did find. Found this last summer. Slate been hit. Um, this is where I taped it. I got tape markings there, but cool hole. Again, more tape marks on the back. It's been kind of ground through, but. I thought that was really cool when I found it. When I saw it, it was sticking up out of the ground like that. And I was like, you got to be kidding me. And then I started pulling, and it was all there. I just can't believe that it survived. And where I found it, people hunt all the time. I just can't believe that somebody couldn't see it or didn't find it or whatever. But really, really neat. So anyway, I wanted to show you guys that. Later.